Hey, what's up everyone? Gids here for a Summoner's War Chronicles video and today we are going to talk about Brawl again and this time specifically for Kina. So I'm going to actually be reviewing my videos or watching my replays, right? In order to share with you guys the thought process that are happening during the drafts when it comes to PvP with Kina. So I'm gonna go through the thought process, picking and banning of monsters who to pick, who to ban, and all those kinds of stuff. So let's go. Before we actually start, I would I just want to show previous battle records because of course you might not believe me if I don't have a good standing, right? So this is me from last month. So week one and week two, I think these were the times when we were experimenting with monsters. Week three is the time that I really built up my real team, real brawl arena team. And then by week 4, we were able to land Master 1, rank 379 with 2,100 points. Well, the thing is, when it comes to aerial server, people are very, very competitive. You can see my win rate here, 67%. So 44 out of 65 for that week, which is decent, right? It's not bad, okay? And my win rate right now is also 30 out of 45, which is again, 66.7%, 66 which is decent. We're still above 50% and rank 867 right now at gold to 1,600 points. Okay, so just a quick rundown. When it comes to PvP, you really want to make your 5-star monsters shine here. So as a free-to-play player, if you want to focus on PvP, you want to restore your <laughs> PvE monsters. Like for me, I restored Karambit. So um, you've been seeing me using a lot of Karambit before, but now he's been restored because once it comes to higher level pvp it's kind of hard to actually use him he just dies all the time so yeah uh, with restoring espino we were able to build some other nat fives right here so just to show quick show okay quick show because i don't want to go in depth with stats because i've been showing them a lot already but here's my galleon stats uh hp defense attack i think those are the stats here hp defense attack look for a lot of accuracy I just added crit rate and crit damage. This is specific to Kina only because Kina needs a lot of damage and I'm compensating with Kina's lack of damage for all the monsters, right? All the monsters are actually built for a little bit of damage within them, okay? Because Kina really needs the damage. Unlike Orbia and Cleef that you can actually build them for damage, it's really hard to build Kina for damage. She does not do a lot of damage. Anyway, this is my Galleon. This is my Espino. Our Galleon is Awake 13 and of course max skilled with Devil Mons. This is Espino. So again, 99% crit rate, but this is actually just 69% crit rate. You get the buff from his passive right here. That's a plus 30%. So crit damage 199% and attack is 5200. 39k HP. This is up to 40k HP if we're using other weapons. But essentially, you want more HP because you want your DPS to survive. Sometimes Orbia means just one shot this guy, which feels bad. That's why you want more HP. Sometimes he gets one shot before you can heal him. That's why you want HP on this guy. Okay, attack, attack, attack with a lot of crit rate, crit damage, and HP percent for the substats. Right? We have Sir Acteon here, who are our main tank. So aside from Galleon, we have another tank here, main tank. Actually, Sir Acteon here, 6,500 defense, 47k HP, crit rate, crit damage. Again, you can see here we have a lot. We are investing a lot on crit rate and crit damage because, again, we need the damage from our monsters. Okay, triple defense with a lot of crit rate, crit damage, HP, and defense substats. Okay, and then this guy is awake 13. Uh, Espino, by the way, is awake 14. Next, we have another DPS over here, Ethna, awake 11 only, right? Attack is 3,800 with 37k HP, 71% crit rate to 54% crit damage. Okay, Another DPS here for my team. You, you always want to have two DPS monsters on your team, especially once we go into the brawl fights. Okay, Attack crit damage, attack standard, burst monster. And then Shushu here, triple HP, 64k HP, um, awaken, max awaken, right? So triple HP, you don't need to think about anything else. Sometimes I'm bringing Sekhmet if we can, if they steal one of our damage dealers. So that's attack rate, damage attack, standard Sekhmet runes right here. And we also have Bulldozer sometimes with these stats. Decent stats, but not the best, but still okay enough. 
uh, uh, defense crit damage, defense crit rate, crit damage, and defense percent substats. Sometimes we put in Taeyeon as well, HP, defense, HP, HP. Okay, and these are the stats. Uh, not the best stats, but he's pretty good for the revives. Okay. In the future, we'll be putting in Juno, but she's still not max skilled. You want to max her skill 1 over here for the rate. Okay, strip rate, but right now, she's a bench warmer. Anyways, that's it for the monsters. Let's go ahead and check out the replays. The replays are muted here because we've been using copyright music in Twitch. But by the way, if you want to watch Brawl Arena PvP, live i'm live every day twitch.tv slash it's gg 6 30 pm asia time onwards uh, i'll be there okay so let's go this is our first fight of the evening i think so let's see what happens here who are we facing against okay i'm just gonna run you through my easy bands right if you're playing kina insta ban for cleef is either light dark or fire light is because of the blind and invincibility you don't want to face that I, I forgot about dark but you know dark makes them deal a little bit more damage and you want to ban fire sometimes because of the unrecoverable but i think light is the most annoying one out of all of all of those elements that's why i always just ban light make it easier for me and usually leaf players will want to ban your dark weapon because most of the time fights go long and if fights go long kina has the revive she will have the advantage of reviving her own monsters and be able to outlive the cleave. Okay, so yeah, let's see what happens here. Okay, of course, we ban light right away. They ban dark. Okay, and then, okay, picking here, we usually go with fire or light. Um, in this instance, I'm thinking of going fire because I think I can be able to do some damage against this guy. And you want to go with light weapon if you think your opponents can insta burst your team. I mean, if you're also playing playing it safe, you can go with light. But you know, I'm trying to be a little bit riskier here, playing it a little bit riskier here, and try to go for more damage and cooldown reduction with fire. Tina. Yeah, you can see it here. I'm trying to hover over light or fire. We always first pick Espino because he's our best DPS right now. We don't want him to get taken away. Okay, enemy picks Juno and Argen. Again, Argen is not the best for PvP. Sometimes he's usable, especially against Espino, you know. Sometimes, but you know, he's not the best unit for PvP. Okay, and then of course we pick here. Okay, the reason why I picked Sir Acteon and Shushu here is because I don't want him to take Shushu for immunity. We want to pick immunity against Leaf against the provoke and then of course we need to pick our tank usually i pick galleon second i pick galleon second whenever we're facing against orbia because orbia also likes having galleon so yeah i think i don't think the enemy has a galleon that's why i just try to pick galleon last year let's see what they are going to pick next okay they went with Sekhmet and Bastet. Pretty good choices and very normal. Right? And then you can see here, this is my standard team. You will see this a lot and you will want to build a team, five-man team that you will consistently pick. So five to six monsters again that you want to focus on that you will just be picking all the time. And then it should be balanced, right? Again, you have your tank, you have your healer, you have your double DPS. This is for Kina, okay? Because Kina has her own heals as well. You can actually afford to just put in one healing monster over here. So if they ban your healer, then you have to be on your light. That's why a lot of times you actually want to use your light weapon to play it safe. Because that's where a lot of your heals are going to come from. Especially if they ban your only healer, okay? And you have double tanks and double DPS. So if they ban one or the other, then you still have your choices, right? And for the last pick... Okay, okay. so for the last pick here, he picks Annabelle, which is interesting because she has the heals and defense down. So at this point, I want you guys to pause and think about who you want to be banning here because a lot of the times fights or matches are won by the drafts. So you can see my draft right here. You can see opponent's draft right here. 
and think about who I should be banning here. What's the win condition? What's my win condition? What is his win condition? All right. So give you five seconds to think. And okay. So at this point, I think my thought process is I want to ban the Juno here. Either the Juno or Annabelle here. We want to cut down their healing sources. We don't care about the DPS here. I think we have all the tanks that can cover it unless they ban Galleon over here and actually let Acteon. Nah, I think it's still very bad for them if they ban a tank here. I think they're planning to ban either Espino. No, I think it's Espino, right? If they ban Espino, no, I think they actually will let Espino through because they have Argon, but banning or letting Espino through is a bad choice or if they just ban Sir Acteon here I think that's really good for them right banning Sir Acteon here is really good for them my DPSs I think they can handle right they can handle it so I'm just trying to think in the Cleave player's mind who do we ban here I think he's really just going to want to ban Espino here because Sekhmet is going to have a hard time against Espino right She's, uh, she's going to have a good time against um, Etna plus Sir Acteon here. So I think if they ban Espino and then I'll be left with Sir Acteon, Etna, and Galleon or Shushu, then I think it's much harder. It's a much harder fight for me. So yeah, I think we ban Juno here or Annabelle, right? So let's see what happens. Okay. Okay. I banned the Juno here. Good ban. Okay, ban. Also, we want to keep immunity and attack buffs if we ban Juno, right? We also have attack buff on the fire weapon. So it's good. Okay, so they ban immunity here, which is fine, right? It's okay with me since they banned Juno anyways as well. Or we banned Juno anyways. And I think that's a really... I think that's a wrong ban for him. Or, I mean, it's an okay ban because you can see here our choices is... That we have zero healers in our team, but we also cut off his healers. Okay, so from this point, you are going to rethink the plan, right? So we have Espino, Sir Acteon, Galleon, and Ethna. Who am I going to ban here against his team, right? So I'm thinking here, I'm just gonna drop one of the damage dealers. It's either Espino or Ethna, but of course, it's going to be Ethna because he's not gonna deal well with uh, Sekhmet over here. And I think opponent is gonna take out one of his damage dealers as well. So if we ban Etna and they ban their segment, I'm in huge trouble because again, element advantage of Argen versus Espino. But if we ban Etna and they ban Argen, then we win. <laughs> we basically win. So let's see what happens. Okay, we're banning Etna for sure. And they ban Argen. So at this point, it's like... At this point, I think we already won, right? Draft-wise, we already won. So this is what we're saying that drafts win a lot of the games. So it's not really the main fight. So we'll see what happens here. Okay, I try to aim Sekhmet here because Sekhmet is the damage. If we kill the Sekhmet, he has nothing else to do. And we actually killed... <laughs> Wait, we actually killed Leaf there. Without controlling any of our units. I mean, I've been, I've just been doing skill 2 on Galleon. I mean, Galleon's really strong as well. You can see what happened there. Right. So, you can see here all my three monsters are focusing him. And there's the death down and there's the Espino skill. Skill, one, skill 2 and into skill 1. His endure buff got stripped. He has nothing else to do. Easy dead. Um, I think this cleave was very, very squishy. Okay, these are the stats of that cleave. So very squishy cleave. It's a DPS cleave. So understandable that he's squishy, but he does not have an enough crit damage. So if you don't have enough crit rate crit damage for your cleave, I don't suggest going for the DPS cleave. Just go with a standard tank cleave. Okay, we have match number two right here. So we are against Orbia. So this is again another good showcase against Orbia players, so usually against Orbia, you just want to, to ban the Dark Weapon. Dark Weapon is always a good choice because Dark Weapon puts down a lot of debuffs on your team, especially if you don't have immunity. I only have one immunity monsters monster, which is Shushu and no cleanse.
my only other lens is Juno if ever I get to build her. But you don't want to face against Dark Weapon because Dark Weapon has Unrecoverable. But usually they pick Light Weapon and their Light Weapon is a Burst and also Wind Weapon as well. So th those are also good choices for bans as Kina. But I just default to Dark because I don't care. And one big mistake here that a lot of I see a lot of Arbia players make. I don't want to teach you this guys but don't ban Dark if you're playing Arbia. You want to ban light because as Orbia you want to focus down a Kina player's DPS monster, right? And light weapon actually deal, uh, heals a lot and it helps for the survivability of the team's DPS monster. So I think it's always ban light against Kina if you are Orbia. Yeah, so I defaulted to picking light weapon here. And then again, first pick Espino always. Right. Okay, so this is a scenario where, where they actually take my Galleon here. So let's see what happens. Yeah, I think I'm thinking here because they took my Galleon. I'm gonna have a hard time here. Um, of course, we pick Sir Action and Shushu. Okay, still pretty standard picks. I think this is the time that I'm going to bring in Theon instead of Galleon or in place of Galleon as a secondary tank. Let's see their picks. Okay, they pick Sekhmet and Chloe. Alright, so that's triple fire. So because of the triple fire, I think I'm gonna... I'm not going to pick Etna here. Instead of Etna, I think I'm picking Bulldozer here. Oh wait, what's this? Chilling? I'm hovering over my chilling, huh? This is a bait pick. I'm not gonna pick that. I'm not gonna pick chilling here. It's just a for fun pick. Oh wait, I really picked Etna still. Okay, interesting. I mean, looking... Okay, okay. Let's see his last pick. Okay, looking at his team here, I think picking Etna is actually a good, uh, a good pick for me. So if we look at his draft right here, he only has one fire unit anyway. So one damage dealer and everything is a support towards Orbia. So what happens here is my win condition is just to kill this Orbia, right? So the way we can kill her fast is actually a combination of Ethna plus Espino here. So if they both do their job, I think this game is pretty winnable um, for bans here. Okay, I'm going to give you time again. Five seconds, let's go. Okay, so who are you going to ban? For my case, I think the ban here is Galleon. It's either Galleon or Juno. I don't have much buffs that he wants to strip anyway. But I mean, Juno plus Light Weapon is actually very strong for him because Light Weapon with Orbia, if you have no beneficial effects, it's going to hit so hard. So. That's something that you want to think about. So yeah, I think we're just gonna ban Galleon or Juno here. Both of them are good bans. And then for our opponent's side, I think they're going to ban my tank or Shushu here. I actually don't have a tank in my team right now. So if they ban my tank right now, I'm going to be in a little bit of danger right here, right? So I think if they ban Sir Acteon here, I'm gonna be in danger. So let's see what happens. Right, okay. Insta banning Galleon here. We don't want the attack buff and death downs. Especially with a lot of strips from this guy. Let's see who they ban. Okay, so there you go. They actually banned Seracteon. So of course we're banning Chilling here. Chilling does nothing for my team. He's not even ruined well. Alright. So let's see. I think it's still winnable. We have a lot of heals. We should be able to survive. So again, going over our plan here, the only plan here is to try to kill this Orbia, right? So we're gonna soul link Espino. Okay, okay, there you go. We're gonna soul link Espino and then let Etna do her thing, right? So let's see how this fight goes. So again, the focus is Orbia. If we get to kill Orbia, we're good. And then we go with Sekhmet and then Juno, right? So let's see how this fight goes. Okay. 
It's not going for the right targets. Oh, we got silenced. Okay, I think this is where we lost. We got silenced, actually. I was trying to heal. Nice silence placement. I was... I was so close to my Etna, that's why I got silence. Yeah, I took I took the silence here from the segment, and because of that silence, I was not able to heal. You can see here I'm trying to spam my heal, but I was not able to heal Etna, and I think this is where we lose now. Yeah, he dead. If I had my heal there, I could have healed her. Let's see if we can still win. Come on, Espino. Okay, we killed the DPS. Okay, we killed the segment. Alright, so you can see here, I think the game is doomed on his end. Because he, he's he got no summoner already, no DPS. He has a Juno and Camilla, but I have infinite sustains, right? I have this infinite sustain, I'm just gonna work on the Juno here and then try to wear down this Camilla and we win. Right, okay, so we win. Let's go. Are we gonna check stats here? Okay, so, oh my god, right, I remember this fight. <laughs> His segment was unruined. His segment has no runes, so that's why also his segment was not dealing any damage. He, might, he maybe could have killed my Ethna so much faster there if the segment had runes but well not my problem that's his problem right but this one's a really well built Orbia 6 6.4k attack 87% crit rate and 277 crit damage that's a lot actually anyway we take those dubs okay let's see who our next fight is okay another Orbia player you already know the drill Bandark and they Bandark again we pick light we pick light, they pick light. We pick Espino if we are first pick. Okay, Espino pick one. They take Galleon again, okay? So again, big problem here. We have no Galleon. We pick Sir Acteon here plus Shushu for immunity. We especially need the immunity against this Galleon. Ooh, there's a Nikasha here. Man, LD Flex. LD Flex. You know, whenever I see players putting out their LD monsters. We want to kill them and BM them. I'm not sure if I'll be able to win this fight though. Oh, so look at that. Look at that, man. This guy with double LDs. We ban, I think insta ban Eleanor here. There's no other choice really. Zero other choices here except for Eleanor. We ban that thing. I think they're just gonna ban Sir Acteon from our side here. Yep. Um, I actually want to keep Ethna plus Espino here again. I don't know if we'll be able to win this because we're gonna do the same win con, right? Like focus down the Orbia, but it's gonna be hard. I actually pick. I don't know why I banned Shushu here. I think Shushu was the better choice than Theon. Okay, let's go. Let's go, Ethna. Can we kill? No, we can't. Wait, he has invincibility? Oh no! Oh no! Ethna went for the wrong target. Ethna went for the wrong target. Okay, we lost. Okay, we lost. I think I see what happened here. So... Yeah, Ethna actually tried to go for the Ikasha right there. If only she used her skills on Orbia there, we could have killed Orbia and then tried to focus down Ikasha. I didn't know that monster actually puts up invincibility, but I mean, this is a fight for us to lose. We've been outdrafted right away. I mean, what can you do against two LD Nat 5s, right? Two LD Nat 5s plus, plus Galleon and Garo. A lot of good monsters right there. So, well, yeah, very strong. I think this is a very well built. Orbia again. Yeah. Look at that. 292% crit damage. 92% crit rate. So very strong Orbia right here. And again, Ikasha plus... Yeah, there's nothing we can do. <laughs> nothing we can do against this fight. <laughs> so, oh well. 
Okay, so that's it for now for this video. I mean, that's three fights for now. So I think this video might take longer if we review more fights than that. But, you know, I think it's a good way to learn more about Brawl while reviewing what happened, what went wrong, right? So very good fights right there. And yeah, leave a like if you want more videos like this to learn more with Kina PvP. And comment down below if you have any suggestions, thoughts, or whatever. And subscribe if you haven't yet. Thank you very much for watching. See you again next time. Bye-bye.